Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, we've been putting together this little one page site here with some animation effects and scroll effects, a little sticky bar up there, some split sections, a little testimonial carousel, a team section, a little pricing table section. And today we're going to do this little contact us section with icon list over here. Really easy to do with the Divi theme, so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, let's go down to where we want to work. And I'll simply delete this section. OK, well, let's add a new section. Little blue button there to add a section. I'm going to make it a regular section. Inside, I'm going to use two columns, but I'm going to have one slightly bigger than the other, but that's entirely up to you. OK, let's create our icon list. And to do that, I'm going to use the little blurb module, which already has an icon built into it. And let's get rid of our title here. And we'll put in our telephone number. We'll use the first one for a number. I want to use an icon rather than an image. So I'm going to flip the little use icon button to open. Or yes rather. And let's go find a telephone icon. There we go. They've got a more modern one than this, but this is pretty universal. So there it is. It's a lot larger than I want it. And I actually want it on the left hand side. So you could put a tell link in here. If you wanted it to pop up and call automatically when they clicked on it. And we'll do that for the whole module. So that'd be tell colon. And then the number with the full country code and area code and number. Whatever the number is. Okay. Not going to put a background in or an admin label. Let's go over to our design now. Image and icon. Well, let's make the icon. We've been using blues and purples on this. We'll make the icon blue there. Let's circle it. I'm going to make my background white. And I'm going to have a circle border, same color as the phone icon. OK, I want it on the left. There it is, left hand side. Great. So we're almost there with our first little icon. The icon may be a little bit too big. Don't want to make it too small. You won't be able to see what the icon is. So let's have a look. Get 15, that should do it. Now, that, remember this is our body text here. It's not a title. So if we're going to go down to the body text, I'm going to make that same blue color. I'm going to make it semi bold so it stands out a bit better. You could probably make it bold if you wanted to, but I think semi bold will work there. Now we want to align it with the middle of that icon there. So let's roll down a bit and do body line height. And we can bring it up, it gives it more space top and bottom, which will pull it down where it's around the middle of our icon there. Something like that. I think that works OK. Great. Well, there's our first little icon. Let's rinse and repeat. What I'm going to do is I'll copy this, but I'm going to have to delete the clone because I just want to get the spacing right first. So I'm going to copy this. And that to me is too far away. So let's go into our original. And we'll go over to spacing. And let's put a bit of margin, real small bit of margin in, say one pix. We'll do top and bottom by hitting the chain. That's a little too close together. Let's increment with the little arrows there. I think that'll work. Four pix. Margin. Okay. 
Well, let's now delete this one we clone because we haven't got the right margin setting on this one. And we'll clone this one again with the right setting. There we go. And we can go in there, simply change this to perhaps a fax number. Quite often one digit different from the original. And we'll change the icon to something like a fax machine. There we go. Okay, let's rinse and repeat. And let's do an email address. And it'll be me at mybiz.com. Whatever email address people might want to email to. And we can make this a mail to link, which will pop up their default mail client. So actually, let's just copy the email address that I put in there. And we'll go down to link. And again, for the whole thing, must take that tell link away from the other one. We want mail to. And then the email address, it'll pop up in their email client. And let's find a different icon. There we go, a little mail icon. Great, and while we're in here, let's take that tell link away from the fax because you don't want them automatically calling the fax number. It doesn't sound very good. So let's go to the link and simply take that link away. Okay, let's do one more. Let's do an address. And again, I want to take that link away because I don't want to pop up the email client when they do that. You could put a Google Map link in there. What I'm going to do after this contact section is we'll put a full width Google Map below the actual contact section itself. And we could put a link in here that goes down to it for the address. So we'll put in the address. I guess put a city in there. Okay. And we want to put a different little icon in there, perhaps a little home icon. Or a map pin would work as well. There's a little home icon, let's grab that. There's a little map pin that'd probably do just as well. Whichever you prefer. And we'll just do one more with the opening hours. So we'll copy this one again. And let's say Monday to Friday, 8 a.m., 6 p.m. And we'll change the little icon out again. A little clock or a calendar, whatever you want to put there. There's a little clock, that's fine. Great. So there's our icon list done. How easy was that? Let's put a contact form in over here. I think it comes with a great little contact form. The only thing that's missing from the Divi contact form is the file upload button. And if you want to learn how to do that, you can do it with a free plugin called uh, Contact Form 7 or Caldera Forms. We've got videos about that as well. So Let's put in a little form there. I'm going to leave it on the generic form, name, email, message. If you want to add new fields, you can do so here. Put options in and conditional logic. But I'm happy actually with the way that is, so I'm just going to get out of there. And we'll just use what we've got here. Text is fine. Title, I'm not going to give it a title. Success message, which a message has been sent. Submit button, I'm happy to have it say submit there. And again, the reason my button is purple with a blue hover is that's where I've got it set up in my customizer, but you can customize the button to your heart's content. 
email this is the important one this is where you want to put in the email address you want this form sent to so me at my email.com you can have it redirect to a different page or any way you want if you enable that but I'm happy for it just to pop up that success message we've got basic spam protection there that seems to work fine they have to put in 0 plus 15 which would be 15 before it will send you can use a service like Google Capture and something like that by turning that on getting an API key from Google really easy like I say that one seems to work pretty well for me I don't want a link don't want to put a background or an admin label in design wise you can change the background color of the fields and the text color again I'm happy for everything to be just exactly the way it is change focus color and things like that make them bigger and smaller with padding but that looks fine to me I'm gonna have a dark background on this and it seems to work fine just like that again you can change the font style Divi as you know I'm sure has ridiculous amount of fonts just go in there hover over and it will show you an example of the font you're hovering over okay so I think we're pretty much done with this you can style the title text we've got placeholder text right there and the captured text I'm going to change that to white it's going to disappear into the background that's fine but I'm going to change the section background so it'll pop back in again you can change the size font everything like that now here's what I was talking about the button if you want to go in you can style it any way you want go in there text color button background hover over hit the little arrow if you want to change the hover color of the background you can do the border it's got a little icon that pops up when you hover over it you can turn that off there if you want to or you can change it down here to whatever you wish I think I'm going to turn mine off button margin button padding margin will push the button down or up or left or right padding will make it fatter or thinner for instance if I put 20 pixels top and bottom you'll see that button gets a lot deeper left and right give it 30 and it gets a lot wider but quite like the wide but I don't need it as deep as that so common to most Divi modules if you put an entry in you don't like simply delete it it'll go back to the default for you okay no point putting box shadow in because I'm gonna have a dark background that won't work or we could put a light color in and make it look like a glow but I don't need to do that today so I think we're happy there okay let's save that and we'll put a title in and as before we've got our title saved in the library if you're not sure how to do that have a look at the first video I'll put the link below and we'll just we saved it as a row so I'm gonna hit the add row button the green button add from library I'm gonna use a blue one because it'll stand out nicely against the black background I'm gonna put in so with a white but I think I'm gonna use the blue here and we want to pull it up to the top And as I mentioned previously, anybody that doesn't want to watch the video about this, all we've got going on here is a text module, the About Us there, and a divider below. And we've given the divider a scroll effect so that it grows when it comes up the page there. And we've also given it a bit of negative margin so it's a bit closer to the text up above. So I'm going to go in there and change this to Contact or Contact Us. And I need to make that divider slightly bigger so it covers the bottom of that word there. So we'll go into there. We'll go to design and sizing. And we'll pull it up. I'm going to use the little arrows to increment. I think 17 is good. Great. So let's give our section a dark background. So I'm going up to the blue tab for the section. I'm going to make it black and everything seems to stand out quite nicely there I could have made that text probably slightly bigger on those in fact we'll do that in a second 
contact us and the form stands out nicely our capture text working fine there so let's do that I'm going to make the text just a little bit bigger on this and we'll have to realign it a little bit as well so I'm going to just go into the first one I go design body text that's 14 let's make it 16 and like I say that's not bit slightly out of alignment so let's bring the line height down a bit pull it back up something like that that's good and rather than have to go through all of them I'm simply going to save this I'm going to right click on the module the dark tab here and say extend blurb styles and I'll say to this column this column and it should do all of the column for us there we go and it's jumped those all, all up to the same size now I think that looks a bit better or easier to read for sure okay last but not least let's just add a little fade in effect to this particular row right here so I'm going to go into the row the green tab I'm going to go to design animation I'm going to use fade and I think I'm going to have it fade up. In fact, let's have slide and we'll have it slide up. That's fine. Slide center. Let's slide up. There we go. And I think we're done. Let's save our changes. Save our page changes. And exit the visual builder. Let's go on down to where we were working. And there it is that works absolutely fine so we're pretty much done with this now there's that little scroll effect on the line under the contact us the only other thing I'm going to do to this site for section wise is add a full width Google map just down below here then we'll add our links so we can scroll to each section and we'll make a little custom footer too and then we're done so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.